Hi everyone, welcome to Awkward Author. This is a weekly vlog slash podcast in which I talk about my wonderfully awkward author life. My name is Alyssa Grasso and this is my second attempt making this video because the first one I ended up just ranting the whole time and nobody wants to hear that. So I'm going to try to be more positive and upbeat this time around. And it's ridiculous that it's my second time making this video because I didn't have time to make it once and now I'm making it twice. Um, but I'm going to try to be better. And the reason I don't have time and it's probably going to be a short um, episode this week. I'm just really busy and really swamped right now with day job stuff. Um, has nothing to do with writing. Um, as a lot of you know, I have a business of my own selling stuff on the internet, mostly selling stuff Amazon, FBA. It's been a really busy week for me. On top of that, we had a town-wide yard sale, which I was trying to you know, do some spring cleaning and get stuff out. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have great weather for it, so it was mostly you know, a town-wide giving away stuff um, thing because uh, I, mean, I only sold a few things because only a few people came to the yard sale, um, which is crazy because I'm on a busy road, which is noisy, which you can hear in these videos. Anyway, so I spent some time, um, you know, getting that stuff out there for the yard sale, which wasn't spent working. And so on top of it being a busy week, I was, you know, spending extra time on something else. So what that means is that in terms of writing progress, I don't have a whole lot to report to you because um, I have not made a whole lot of progress. Um, I have been... I think when I talked to you last week, I talked I was talking to you about I was working on the outline for this novella that I want to put out, and um, I don't know who these people are walking by. Um, I, I talked about this novella uh, outline that I'm working on, and uh, I actually am very close to being done with that outline. So I have made progress. Um, I did a lot of work on that. I think last Wednesday, which I probably bit, should have been working on other stuff, but I got so into that that I wanted to keep working on it, which is good. It's good to be, you know, to get into something and get into that groove. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly done with it. I, I have made the very ending to outline. Then I got to kind of go back through and organize everything, make sure it all kind of works and has the right sort of arc and everything like that to it because kind of... I think I explained this. When I outline, I kind of outline scene by scene by scene. Um, that's what I do. Um, so the noisiest trucks in the world are going by today. But uh, so when I outline scene by scene by scene, um, I'm kind of like focused in on the you know individual scenes and not focused on the big overall like plot and uh, that that's something I might have to, you know, just make sure that, you know, you know what a, a plot, you know, should look like, you know, because um, you've read books and you've, you've seen movies. So, you know, um, just, you know, when you take a look at something like, you know, how it should be. And so um, that's what I have to do next and, and make sure that all my scenes fit that. And if they don't, maybe rearrange or, you know, add something to it to kind of balance it out and all that. So um, that'll be the, the final step before I begin writing, although I have begun writing it, but uh, have not made, not done too much because I wanted to get this outline done. So in terms of progress, that's basically all the progress I've made this week. I did a tiny little bit of work um, on outlining the sequel to Unnamed Roads, um, but not too much. I've really, all I, the work I did on that was like yesterday I had to do laundry. Um, so while I'm waiting, you know, for my laundry to finish, I was outlining that and, uh, had to go to the laundromat. So while I'm there, you know, something to do to keep, uh, me entertained. That's what I was working on. I'm like, I'll spread out on the counter with my pages and stuff, but whatever. Um, people probably think I'm a weirdo because I am. Um, that's, that's the joy of being a, an author. And some people go to the cafe to work. I go to the laundromat. Uh, welcome to my life. Um, yeah, I... Something I was like thinking about when I was in the shower this morning, like I had my vacuum running, I have a Roomba, right? And that's a great invention. Um, you should get one, like it is totally worth the investment. I bought my first one for $20 at a church rummage sale. Um, it was great, it worked for a long time and eventually it did give up the ghost. So I bought a new one, like I splurged and bought a new one. And it's like, if you wanna splurge on a gift for yourself, I'm not getting paid by Roomba or anything like this. 
splurge on a robotic vacuum. Roombas are great. Um, there's other brand ones too, but it's like, that's a great invention. And why aren't there more inventions like this? Like self-driving cars, that doesn't really save anyone any time because you still got to be in the car um, when it's driving. Like it would be much more beneficial to have self-cleaning clothing, um, self-cleaning bathrooms. I mean, come on, uh, self-driving cars, how does that help anyone? Um, anyway, so that's just me <laughs> ranting about stuff as usual. Um, I, I said I wasn't gonna rant in this video because I was ranting all in the last one. But yeah, um, so I didn't get much progress done this week. The main reason being um, just busy with day job stuff and that yard sale thing. Um, but other reasons um, also are just, you know, I, I live in the US. I, I don't think that's any mystery with my accent and, and whatnot. Um, and, and as you know, this country has a lot of problems. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty far behind the rest of the world in, in many areas, including, you know, healthcare and um, obviously uh, the big one that, you know, everyone knows about gun violence. And of course, um, this was just another week um, that showed like, you know, things are really messed up here. Um, and uh, anyway, it, it's very emotionally draining. Um, you know, it was a physically draining week for me. It was an emotionally draining week for me. And I, I think a lot of creative people can relate to this. Um, you know, when there's stuff going on around you, whether it's like personal things or, you know, things that aren't necessarily connected to you um, specifically, but are, you know, you know, on the news, any kind of, you know, tragedy that happens, it, it affects you, you know, it, it, um, it has an emotional impact on you and that can affect you know, your ability to write and your ability to create. And, and it also makes you think, like, too. Like, I, I was thinking this week, like, you know, what can I do to make the world a better place? And, and there's not a lot of things I can do. I'm not a politician. Um, I, you know, I don't have a platform. I don't have a big influence on people. Um, what I do is, is I write stuff. I mean, that is my my talent it's it's more than a talent it's it's a craft it's something i pursue and sometimes you know to me i think like am i spending my time you know working on the things that i should be working on are there better things um you know that i should be working on that'll have more of an impact on people and make more of a statement and you know in some small way maybe make the world a little bit of a better place and i i don't think that I'm alone in, in that thinking as a creative person, as a writer, um, you know, on the one hand, you know, we're told we need to, to write books to market, to write for, you know, what people want to read. And I agree with that, but I also think, you know, when you're doing that, um, think about the message that you are putting out there, whether it's, you know, the overall plot of the story, the subplot, or just, you know, a theme that is in your, your story and, and thinking about, you know, how does this uh, impact the world? How does it, you know, get people to think or, you know, in, in some small way, make the world a little bit of a better place. And so that's one of the things I was thinking about, like, here I am, I'm outlining these two books. Um, they're, they're basically written as entertainment, you know, one is um, a young adult contemporary, um, you know, with some humor and stuff like that. And the others, um, a thriller um definitely in both cases um there are there is some social commentary of course there is you know because they're books and that's that's how they are and and i hope it does in, in little ways um you know maybe make people think about things but at the same time it's like oh you know i, got, I do have other ideas about things and maybe those are the things i should be working on because like you know those stories are more um I don't want to say more political, but more focused on like maybe some bigger issues and maybe make more of a, a statement impact about some things that, you know, I feel pretty strongly about and pretty passionately about. And, you know, maybe that's what I should be doing. And, and so um, in a general sense, I think we all struggle with like, what should we work on next? And, you know, we have I think, I don't think I'm alone in saying like as an author, like we have like hundreds of ideas out there and the problem is like picking the one we should be working on. I think that's a huge problem um, for a lot of authors and uh, you know, you'll get a new idea. I mean, I think 
almost daily I have um, new ideas and a lot of them nothing ever comes of them um, but then there's you know there's ones that stick around and those are the ones you have to work on and um, yeah I think one of the things I would say if I was giving advice is if you get a new idea, I mean, it's fine to, to draft some notes on it, maybe even like start writing a draft or an outline or something. But before you like dive into something, I'd put it aside and just like, if in a few months it's still there and it's still like, I wanna write that, um, then I think you know that that's something that you probably should or could work on. Um, because a lot of my ideas that I've gone the furthest with are things that wouldn't leave me alone, that were, you know, um, things that have been ideas or you know partial stories or whatever for years um, so it, you know because there's other things like I've had ideas with um, you know I've written down notes and it's like mm, I go back to them like yeah um, it doesn't still grab me so anything that's still like yes you know that's it um, that's a good key for knowing what maybe you should be working on and so um, yeah just recent things that have happened make me think of some ideas I had or you know different projects I started and uh, it's like hmm should I be working on that you know uh, so so that's that's something I think about but there aren't enough hours in a day um, to to write all the books I want to write and uh, certainly right now there are not enough hours in the day to really write anything um, that's um, I'm just in a very busy time right now and so I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to try to do it all, and I can't do it all, which is uh, what I am experiencing. Um, I ran a freebie promotion on Porosity Summer last week. Probably bad timing for that because I really, I should have done more in promoting it and trying to capitalize on that, and I just did not because um, I, I just I didn't have the time, and so. Um, you know, that's something I'm finding as I'm trying to, to do this author thing is um, trying to keep up with the time with it and keep up with everything like the, the marketing, the writing, and then, you know, day job, which for me is not a normal day job, but you know what I mean, like making a living. Um, and uh, that's, that's my struggle here um, that I'm in, encountering. And uh, yeah, so I think I told you I was going to give you some more details on, you know, how the promotion of Ferocity Summer went and, and all that. And I will at some point, but I haven't even reviewed that yet, so I can't even share that with you because I just haven't had time. Um, so that is how, uh, that is what is going on in my life right now. <sighs> Man, I'm just exhausted and I have all this work that I still got to do and I'm going to be running around all day and... Uh, that's that's my life right now so um anyway i mean i i'm happy you know with what i'm doing i'm not it's not like bad stuff but um also at the same time i do feel a little bit overwhelmed and uh yeah and, and it's not even that i feel overwhelmed it's that like i feel overwhelmed and i don't know when i'm gonna not feel overwhelmed like it's gonna be weeks before i not feel overwhelmed and so it's like okay um, you know, you just got to knuckle down and, and do it. And uh, so I'm going to try to. And uh, it's a gray and rainy day here, which is fine. Um, kind of cold, but um, that's okay. That's that's springtime for you. Uh, yeah, you never know what the weather's going to be. Um, I don't know. Some people like the spring. I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. I have to go get some work done, so I will catch up with you again in another week. Um, I'll try not to feel so overwhelmed. I'll try not to rant at you. I don't think I ranted too much, um, certainly in this take. <laughs> the first one was just a solid rant, and I'm like, I can't put that out there. Um, it's just me bitching about everything that's wrong with the world and my life and everything else, and I'm not going to subject you to that. No one wants to listen to that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, try to, you know, put a happy face on it. Think good thoughts. Um, yeah, hug your dog, pet your cat. Um, just, uh, yeah, keep smiling, guys. Do your best to keep smiling. Uh, that's all I can say. So, um, yeah, hang in there, guys. And uh, thank you for watching, listening. Uh, if you want to know more about me, you can visit my website, which is alyssagrasso.com. That's A-L-I. 
S-S-A-G-R-O-S-S-O.com. Uh, you can get a free copy of my first book, Popular, uh, if you sign up for my email mailing list, which I don't send out very often, but um, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you again, talk to you again next week, guys. Take care, everyone.